For, for years, MSF uh, has been using uh, Excel spreadsheets to monitor their medical activities. <coughs> but uh, as projects, uh, projects uh, became more complex, uh, the organization became bigger, it started to, uh, to be complicated to manage these Excel spreadsheets as um, the compilation has to, to be done manually. Uh, so the, 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 the situ this situation led to delays in decision makings on the field and in uh, the proper use of the data. Uh, another another need that was identified uh, was the, the need to give ownership to the team on the field on the the data collection process and accountancy of their own work so both OCP and OCBA uh, were in the same situation a few years ago and then independently they were looking for a solution to uh, to fix the these problems, and both OCPs uh, ended up with DHIS solution. DHIS as a district district health information system is widely used by ministries of health uh, around in 30 countries and also NGOs. The system is maintained by the University of Oslo and has a wide community of users and also developers. DHIS is an open source scalable web technology and you can, any system can interact with it uh, through its API. Basically, uh, as a user perspective, a functional perspective, DHIS is a central repository, so all the data are in one database. Uh, the access to the platform is pretty easy. The access to the data is defined by user role, and any user can create its own dashboards using predefined analytics tools that creates tables and charts. I will show you an example of a dashboard with different visual elements. Uh, so for example, here we have uh, the morbidity of a different pathology. So you can create a, a chart with different lines. Uh, here we have uh, a line chart with a target. You can create uh, stack bars, a single entry uh, tables in which we have a, a list of uh, indicators that uh, we want to monitor. And here we have a double entry table. Now I will uh, show you the way we chose to work with DHIS as an OCP level. And then I will give the, the microphone to Inmas and she will show you her, the solution they chose at the OC4, OCBA. So, we gather the data in this central repository and we use it at HQ level. We directly connect to DHIS2 at HQ and coordination level. But because we have connectivity issues on several projects on the field, we chose to work with a, an app we call Praxis. Uh, it's a Google Chrome app that can be easily downloaded from Google Chrome. Uh, there's no need to, uh, to have uh, IT uh, or technical skills to uh, implement or uh, maintain it. So the field team, the medical team can deploy and maintain it. Basically, the way it's working, uh, so the staff is entering data uh, on the, 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 um, the app, and once we have internet connectivity, the data is pushed up to DHIS2. As, uh, 
a back-end synchronization system, but it's a two-way synchroniz synchronization system. The data is pushed up to DHIS2, where all the data are gathered for all the projects. And this data is pushed down to Praxis in the form of, of uh, tables and charts that are gathered in standard weekly and monthly reports. But there's no need to interact with the system. The, the synchronization is automatically done in the back end. We, uh, we update every two to four weeks uh, the, the app uh, so that it uh, fits with the requirements uh, coming from the field. Uh, we can quickly make some modifications on the data model or the reports. I am in charge of doing all these modifications on the HIS2, and once it's done, the, all those modifications are pushed down on the field. So we'll give the parole to Vilma. Ah, no, sorry. <laughs> so where are we at right now? Uh, we have worked on the uh, data model for aggregated and event data. So now we have a standard one we're working on. We can make slight modifications. Uh, we have this field application, Praxis, that is working <laughs> offline. So the data stays on the computer when there is no connection and is working online when there is uh, there is connection. Uh, it sends small packages of data, um, several tens of KBs, but many uh, packets of data. And it's used for data entry and data analysis through automatic reports. Uh, right now, we are still implementing uh, the app on the, on the field, and we are focusing on the, the, the learning curve of the end users at a field and HQ level, and we are training them so that they are able to create their own project-specific uh, dashboard. And the strategy for the next month and years is to empower and, uh, the staff. And we, we, also, uh, we will also create new data sets because, uh, I mean, not all, the, all of the the, 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 the types of projects are now uh, available in, uh, in praxis. And we will continue the, the implementation. Thank you. Thank you, Olivia. Hi, my name is Inma. I'm the head of IT in Barcelona. And I uh, would like to share with you that our view of, uh, of uh, how we came to this uh, solution. Uh, the way that in Barcelona we started the, the deployment of uh, this system is a little bit different, but the actual uh, situation is uh, is that uh, nowadays uh, our challenge was to improve the way that we reported and collected information and uh, allow and provide uh, analysis functionalities for everybody that is uh, working in the organization from the field to headquarters. So uh, last year we started implementation around the summer and now happily 2015 was closed using the, the reporting in the HIS2. So we focus very much on uh, utilizing the standard system. So we have an online and offline solution that uh, uh, uses a, a server at the field level. And uh, we are now uh, expecting the outputs of the development of the DHIS community to enhance the synchronization capabilities and starting to use standard apps and also the API for integrating other solutions in the future. Uh, the point that we are uh, having here is uh, provide users with full analysis capabilities at all levels. And that's why uh, at the moment uh, we are uh, about to close the project in this current implementation phase after uh, really having conducted the process of training of users at all level with uh, 60 extractors uh, using the, uh, the solution, uh, being projects or coordination extractors in the field, uh, more than 350 people trained, 
and uh, now starting to work to uh, continue improving the use of the standard solution with individual data, uh, with uh, the better use of the EIS capabilities, and starting to deploy mobile solutions. And here, uh, also, you have seen before a couple of other experiences from Barcelona, and this is our backbone of information, and we're working to see how we integrate this in a, a big uh, lake or, or warehouse of information. So we're focusing uh, still and keep on focusing in the process of modeling of the uh, data, uh, minimizing the work on IT and focusing more on the data and the user experience and working with the community of DHIS2 and, and the rest of the community of, uh, of MSF. We wanted to show you as well a little bit of uh, how the two projects are measuring uh, success. In both cases, uh, we think that we can uh, talk about success. Uh, being two different uh, projects, uh, you see that the degrees of uh, implementation in terms of uh, geographical and organizational outreach is, is different, but uh, we are progressing at a good pace, and you can see that in the case of uh, the Barcelona project, we are focusing a lot in uh, measuring the output of the satisfactions of users regarding their training, the implementation, because uh, we focused a lot the, the process on, on training and change management, whereas in the case of the uh, Paris team, they had to measure very much uh, the technical success, so they focused a lot as well beyond training as well on how to solve quickly uh, technical issues that were key in the deployment of, of praxis. And in both cases, you can see that the success regarding timely reporting is quite high, and uh, this compared with the previous situation where we had delays of months in obtaining data is uh, quite challenging, because even collecting the baseline for uh, time of reporting was uh, complicated. And so far nowadays, uh, where we are, uh, in terms of uh, community uh, of uh, DHIS or health information system implementation, is that the, the reality is that nowadays we have a, a strong or a community of uh, practice around health information systems that regularly meets, <coughs> discuss about indicators, discuss about experiences in quite an open way. So this is the actual innovation, more than the system, is the, the knowledge uh, uh, that we're creating around it and the openness of uh, this team of people that is sharing experiences and seeing that uh, with time, we hope that the uh, next projects are gonna be uh, faster and stronger. And uh, hopefully uh, in a few months or during this year, start sharing the data that we are collecting uh, through uh, our um, external mechanisms uh, of, uh, of data sharing to start really to provide some open data on our activities and, and so on. So, yes, this is uh, where we are, and we really hope that in the near future the community continues working together and grow stronger. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you.